Eyewitness News learning people in a section of Cumberland County have been getting alerts from environmental officials that potentially dangerous chemicals have been found in their water supply. The alerts are raising concerns for some over how widely these so-called PFAS have been traveling through the area and how they could affect people's health. Monique John reports. For the nearly 20 years Ken Slankert has been living in his home near Hope Mills, he says he's enjoyed getting water from his private well. It's been important to his lifestyle. Well water was typically better water, you know, cleaner. It was just natural. It comes from the ground. Um, but that's just not the case anymore. Slankard says he recently got this letter from the state's Department of Environmental Quality saying his well water has been contaminated with PFAS. It says he's eligible for the DEQ's program that reimburses people for installing treatment systems for their private drinking water. But Slankard says this finding is new. Previous testing by the state didn't find PFAS in his water as recently as last year. As a native of Flint, Michigan, he says he's aware of the dangers of contaminated water and worries for his health. Between that and you know, six combat tours, 24 years in the military, I've got concerns about cancer. We reached out to the DEQ inquiring about how many residents who get their water from here at the Cape River also got the department's recent alerts about PFAS being found in their supply. The department hasn't officially responded at time of reporting. It's also unclear why people are receiving this alert now. Some of Slanger's neighbors tell me they've also gotten negative PFAS results in their water test within the last year. Ultimately, Slanker is demanding more action to protect those who may have been exposed. We only have one earth, you know, and for some reason humans have forgotten that. You know, we only have one earth. Whatever you're putting in the ground is coming into my water. In Cumberland County, Monique John, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.